Section 10.16, Harvesting of Animal Populations. A harvesting policy in which an animal population is periodically harvested is said to be sustainable if the yield of each harvest is the same and the age distribution of the population remaining after each harvest is the same. So what we're going to do in this video is essentially take what we did last time involving Leslie matrices that described population growth and use those to develop policies where we remove uh, animals from the population via harvesting. To describe this harvesting model mathematically, let uh, x be the vector x1 through xn be the age distribution vector of the population at the beginning of the growth period. Then i minus h times lx equals x, where l is the Leslie matrix describing the growth of the population, and h is the harvesting matrix, just this diagonal matrix with uh, different h's along the diagonal, zero otherwise, and h i for i equals 1 through n is the fraction of females from the ith class that is harvested. So what we're basically saying is that i minus uh, h times l is the matrix given by 1 minus h1 times a1 1 minus h1 times a2, 1 minus h1 times a3, etc., all along the top row. So we stop at um, 1 minus h1 a n, and then underneath we have 1 minus h2, b1, all zeros. zero, one minus h3, b2, basically we just get uh, another Leslie matrix. So i minus h times Leslie matrix L is in and of itself a Leslie matrix. Let's just finish it up. Zeros, one minus H n B n minus one zero. Okay, so what if we wanted to harvest from the population in a uniform fashion, meaning we just take all of these H's in our uh, harvest matrix, and what if we just them all equal to each other? So we just have one H. H one equals H two, H equals H three, and so on equals just H. Well. On the left of this equation, then, we just have 1 minus h over here because we just have 1 subtracting off the same h value every single time along the diagonal. So we could divide by that and get Lx equals 1 over 1 minus h times uh, x. So that'll be the um, policy that we're going to use in order to find out uh, uniform harvesting policy for a population. How about we do an example? Let's say for a certain species of domestic sheep in New Zealand with a growth period of one year, the following Leslie matrix was found. So it's this big Leslie matrix right over here. The sheep have a lifespan of 12 years, so they are divided into 12 age classes of duration one year each. By the use of numerical techniques, the unique positive eigenvalue of L can be found to be lambda 1 equals 1.176. So how about we determine the uniform harvesting policy for this population? So we'll set uh, h equal to h1, equal to h2, and so on in the matrix above, so that we just have one h, and that gives us Lx equal to one over one minus h, times x, so that means that the eigenvalue here must be 1 over 1 minus h. So we'll set that equal to lambda 1. So then we have h equal to 1 minus 1 over lambda 1, just by solving for h. So in this case, that's 1 minus 1 over 1.176.
which is 0 0.150. So now we can just um, write out our vector the same way as we did previously by setting it equal to 1 b1 divided by the eigenvalue lambda 1, b1, b2 divided by lambda 1 squared. Remember, we have the same formula for x because our i minus h uh, l is a Leslie matrix in and of itself. b1, b2, b3 divided by lambda 1 cubed, and uh, so on. So b1, b2, all the way through bn minus 1 over lambda 1 and minus 1. And that ends up being 1, 0 0.719, 0 0.596, 0 0.489, 0 0.395, 0 0.311, 0 0.231, 0 0.171, 0 0.067, 0 0.0067, 0.0367, 0.0360, 0.0370. In some populations, only the youngest females are of any economic value. So the harvester seeks to harvest only the females from the youngest age class. Let's apply this type of sustainable harvesting policy to the sheep population in example one. So first, how about we talk about uh, net reproduction rate. As before, we saw that the characteristic polynomial for uh, lambda i minus l is lambda n uh, minus a1 lambda n minus 1 minus a2 b1 lambda n minus 2 minus a3 b1 b2 lambda n minus 3 and so on through a n b1 b2 through b n minus 1. So we set that equal to 0. We solve for our eigenvalue. But what if we set the eigenvalue lambda equal to 1? Well, then we get 1 over here. And then the rest of this, we can move to the other side. So that must be equal to 1. So we will get a1, uh, lambda I'm setting equal to 1, so just a1 plus a2b1 plus a3 b1, b2, and so on through a n, b1, b2, through b n minus 1 equal to 1. And we call that the net reproduction rate. We'll usually use r to denote that net reproduction rate. So with that in mind, uh, again, we'll set h1 equal to h, but this time we are only harvesting the youngest age class. So all of the other h's, h2, h3, and so on, all the way through hn will set equal to 0. So then we have 1 minus h times our reproduction rate, that's the a1 plus a2, b1, plus a3, b1, b2, through a n, b1, b2, b n minus 1 equal to 1. This is our r. So in this case, we have r equal to 0 0.00 plus 0.45 times 0.845 and so on through 0.421 times 0.845 times 0.975 
and so on through 0 0.370. So that equals 2.514. So setting h equal to 1 minus 1 divided by r by just uh, solving for h over here, we get 1 minus 1 over 2.514, which is uh, 0.602 for h. Let's write out our population vector x now. So x1 is equal to 1, uh, b1, b1 times b2, because remember we set lambda 1 equal 1, b2, b3, and so on, b1, b2, through bn minus 1. And in that case, in this case, that'll be 1.00, 0 0.84, 0.7, 9.5, 0.7, 5.5, 0.699, 0.626, 0.532, 0.438, 0.162, 0.060. So if we take our Leslie matrix and multiply it by x1, we get 2.514.845.824.795.755.699. 0 0.626, 0 0.532, 0 0.418, 0 0.289, and 0.0160. So looking at our youngest age class, that's 2.514, if we computed the percentage of this out of all of the age classes, we could calculate this is actually 29.5% of the population, and then we're harvesting 60.2% of that because we're only harvesting from that uh, youngest age class. So 62, 60.2% of 29.5% 20 is how much of the entire population would be harvested, and that's 17.8% of the population that will be harvested in this case. And uh, notice it, sus it sustains the um, population, even though in the previous example, we only were able to harvest 15% by sustaining it. So the uniform harvesting policy uh, did not allow us to harvest as much as this policy where we only harvested the youngest uh, population. And it turns out that there is an optimal sustainable yield, and that optimal sustainable harvesting policy is one in which either one or two age classes are harvested. If two age classes are harvested, it turns out that the older age class is completely harvested.